Dear students, under the topic Lagrange's linear partial differential equation, here we have problem 21. This is quite a different problem from, from all the other problem, problems that we have solved previously. But anyway, the initial stages of the problem is going to remain the same. The first step is we have to write the standard form of the Lagrange's equation. So the standard form of the Lagrange's equation is given by capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to capital R. On comparing with the given equation, we observe that capital P is equal to x square negative y z. Capital Q is equal to y square negative zx and capital R is equal to z squared minus xy. So we have to take and write the value of P, Q, R now. So after this, we have to write the auxiliary equation of the Lagrange's form. So the auxiliary equation is given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. We shall now substitute the values of P, Q and R in this auxiliary equation. So we have taken and written the auxiliary equation and now let us mark the ratios as 1, 2 and 3. Now comparing equation 1, 2, 2, 3 and 1 and 3, we observe that we cannot apply the method of grouping. Neither we can apply the method of multipliers because on performing operations on the denominator, we observe that by choosing the multipliers L, M and N, we cannot make the denominator as 0. So, for in that case, we will be performing operations among these ratios and we will be forming new ratios and compare those ratios and solve the problem. For example, first we shall form, uh, we, will, we will make an operation of 1 minus 2. So, these three auxiliary equation will also be equal to, so 1 minus 2. So, the first ratio, the numerator is dx. So, dx minus second ratio, the numerator is dy divided by the same operation has to be performed in the denominator also. So x squared minus y is z and then minus the second ratio. So minus y square minus zx and this will also be equal to we will perform the same kind of operation between 2 and 3. So 2 minus 3. So in the numerator it will be dy minus dz divided by in the denominator y square minus zx minus z square and minus into minus will become plus xy in a similar manner here also minus y square and then minus into minus plus zx you will be having yes now it is fine so this is the, these are the new ratios that we have obtained now we will simplify the denominators further so from this ratio we get the numerator dx minus dy divided by let me gather these two terms so that I can write it as x squared minus y squared and gather minus y z and zx. So what is common among these two terms? z is common. So plus z multiplied with x minus y. So I can rewrite it in this manner. In a similar way on the right dy minus dz divided by I will gather the term y square minus z square first. So y square minus z square. And then here I am having xy and here I am having minus zx. So what is common among these two? x is common. So plus x multiplied with y minus z. So this is what we obtain. Further, we can rewrite this as dx minus dy divided by x square minus y square can be written as x plus y multiplied with x minus y by using the formula from algebra a squared minus b squared can be written as a plus y a plus b multiplied with a minus b the same concept i have used here plus z multiplied with x minus y on the right dy minus d z divided by in a similar manner y square minus z squared can be written as y plus z multiplied with y minus z plus x multiplied with y minus z. So, on the left, I can take common as x minus y. So, if I take x minus y common, so dx minus dy divided by x minus y multiplied with within the bracket. So, this x minus y I have taken out. So, within the bracket, I will be having x plus y plus z. On the right, 
dy minus dz. What is common among these two terms? y minus z is common among these two terms which can be taken out. So within the bracket what I will be having? y plus z plus x. So this can be written as x plus y plus z. Now if you see I can cancel these two terms and the left hand side becomes dx minus dy divided by in order to write it in the same form I am taking the negative sign outside here. So this can be written as y minus x and on the right dy minus dz the same uh, thing here we are having y minus z only so directly we can write y minus z. And on the left no need to make this change because we have x, uh, x minus y and in the numerator dx minus dy only. So let this be the same itself which is x minus y. So uh, here on the left we are having dx minus dy by x minus y and on the right dy minus dz by y minus z. So now further we shall integrate on both the sides. Now I have taken and written, written that here. So integrating on both the sides. On the left, we see that the differentiation of the denominator is the numerator. So what I told you, if it is like that, you can write the integration of this term as logarithm of the denominator. So if you see, x, the integra differentiation of x is dx minus, differentiation of y is dy. So the differentiation of x minus y is dx minus dy and therefore the integral of this will become logarithm of x minus y. Using the same concept on the right, we have logarithm of y minus z plus a constant of integration log c1. Now taking this log of y minus z to the left, we will be having log of x minus y minus logarithm of y minus z is equal to logarithm of c1. Now this is like log a minus log b. And so it can be written as log of a by b. So x minus y divided by y minus z is equal to logarithm of c1. Now comparing the left and the right, we can uh, write uh, c1 will be equal to this. So therefore x minus y divided by y minus z is equal to c1 and therefore the first solution u is equal to x minus y divided by y minus z. So we have obtained the first solution u. Next we have to obtain the second solution v. Now in order to obtain the solution v I have taken and written the auxiliary equation once again. Now we will perform another different operation on it. That is, I am going to make it in such a manner that x multiplied with 1 plus y multiplied with 2 plus z multiplied with 3. Okay, and uh, this, uh, this is one kind of operation. So, what it will be? x multiplied with 1. So, for the first ratio, I should multiply x in the numerator and the denominator as well. So, it will be x dx plus second one is y dy plus z dz the whole divided by now this x has to be multiplied here so it will become if you multiply x with x square it will become x cube minus x y z and then what you have here you have to multiply y so it will become y cube minus x y z plus you ha here you have to multiply z so it will become z cube minus x y z is equal to I am going to perform another operation that is I am going to just take it as 1 plus 2 plus 3. So in that case well, how I will get it dx plus dy plus dz divided by in the denominator I will be having x squared minus y z. So x squared minus y z and then plus y square minus zx. Further also I will be having plus x z squared minus x y. Now here in the denominator you have minus x y z minus x y z and minus x y z which on adding we will be having minus 3 x y z. So this will be further simply on simplification we will get it as x dx plus y dy plus z dx dz divided by I will write all the cubic terms together y cube x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz is equal to on the right numerator will be dx plus dy plus dz divided by writing all the square terms together first we have x square plus y square plus z square 
and then minus uh, we we also have x y and then uh, y is z minus y is z minus z x so this is on the right and now on the left from algebra we know that a cube plus b cube plus c cube can be written as by the algebraic formula we know that it is equal to a plus b plus c multiplied with a square plus b square plus c square minus ab and then minus bc minus ac and this plus 3 abc this is from the algebraic formula so taking this 3 abc to the left we will be having a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc which is the same as this format so this can be written as this so uh, we will be getting it as x dx plus y dy plus z dz and in the denominator it's like a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc so this 3 abc my so it will be x plus y plus z multiplied with this term so x square plus y square plus z squared minus xy minus y is z minus zx on the right what we have we will write it as it is so dx plus dy plus d is z divided by x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y is z minus z x so if you see we can cancel these two terms on the left and the right so this completely gets cancelled with this term and what we will be left out with so after cancelling the terms we are left out with these terms now taking this x plus y plus z to the right we will be having x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to x plus y plus uh, i mean y plus z into dx plus dy plus dz now we have to integrate on both the sides on the left we can integrate each of the terms separately on the right together we have to integrate here we will make a small substitution if you put t is equal to x plus y plus z what you will get dt to be equal to dx plus dy plus dz so when you substitute that on the right you will be having t so instead of x plus y plus z i'm writing it as t and instead of dx plus dy plus dz i can write it as dt and on the left i am having x dx plus integral y dy plus integral z dz now we will integrate so what is the integration of x dx it will be x squared by 2 plus similarly for y it is y squared by 2 plus for z it will be z squared by 2 is equal to what is the integration for t it is t squared by 2 plus a constant c2 now taking this t squared by 2 to the left we will be having x squared by 2 plus y squared by 2 plus z squared by 2 minus t squared by 2 is equal to a constant c2 taking lcm we will be having x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus t squared is equals to on the right we will have 2c2 which is again another constant so in general we can write it as c2 itself now we shall substitute this t what is t t is x plus y plus z so if you substitute that x square plus y square plus z square minus x plus y plus z the whole square is equal to c2 now using the algebraic formula we can expand it so x square plus y square plus z square minus within the bracket the expansion of a plus b plus c the whole square is x square plus y square plus z square and then uh, you will be having and then plus 2xy plus 2y is z plus 2zx is equal to c2 so further this will be x square plus y square plus z square multiplying this negative within you will be getting minus x square Minus y squared minus z squared minus two x y minus two y z minus two z x is equal to c two. 
now this uh, x square and negative x square y square and negative y square z square and negative z square gets cancelled and we can take negative 2 outside so that we will be having y x y plus y is z plus z x is equal to c2 when this constant is taken to the right we will be having x y plus y is z plus z x is equal to c2 divided by minus 2 which is going to be again a constant only so in general i can write it as c2 so therefore the second solution is v which is equal to x y plus y is z plus z x so we have obtained both the solutions u and v and so therefore the general solution is phi of u comma v is equal to 0 so therefore phi of what was u that we obtained x minus y by y minus z comma what is v x y plus y is z plus z x so this is equal to 0 is the general solution so hope you have understood this problem this is a very significant problem in the examination point of view thank you